For many people, I think, if they see climate change as, a, as an issue of science, it's not. It's an issue of, of human living. Climate change has been particularly critical in expanding the scale at which people think about the, their, their impact on the planet. There's no question that the cumulative impact of human activity is, is colossal. Climate change is the kind of the headline thing, but there are innumerable environmental issues that are all either caused directly or more often amplified by um, the number of human beings on the planet. I do remember the natural world because I lived in the countryside. The weather was more with me as a child and as I, part of growing up, as with so many people, is going to the city. And going to the city, suddenly there's less weather, you're less aware of weather, but if you're someone who's grown up in the country, perhaps you still look for evidence of the natural world and you try and decode its signs and signals. Memory and weather are very, very important. Our memories of weather act as anchoring devices to help us make sense of the world that we live in. So as long as weather behaves and performs in the ways that we're used to, then we're fine. But if weather starts moving outside of that envelope, then we become a bit disoriented and anxious and disturbed because we've lost one of our ways of making sense of reality. Memory is crucial for how we locate ourselves in time. Climate models, they have a scientific function of course, but they also have an imaginative function because what they do is they orientate us differently to the future. They, there is then not only the, the modelled past and the remembered past and the actual past, there's also the, the future. There's the modelled future and then there's the future as it will be. And then of course there's all the other ones that are in novels like Maggie G's or Margaret Atwood's, you know, there's the imagined future. And so we've suddenly got this proliferation of futures as well as a proliferation of pasts. Um, and that again is, is, is a kind of fascinating and interesting situation, but it's also a pretty disorientating one. We interpret the movements of populations, animal populations and plant populations in that way, as a way of understanding the progress of time and the progress of temperature. But art is a very different thing because art is a deliberate attempt to memorialise. The novel is the archetypal vehicle for description of consciousness. It can do consciousness in ways that films can't. So I suppose I think I can try and bring to life humans who are dealing with extreme events. Our weather experiences will change and that might be discomforting because the scale issues here are actually beyond what we've encountered before. The problem with the great move to the cities is that people have somehow lost their intimate connection with nature. So I do think it's very important for schools to somehow, you know, if they can do things like building gardens and building, growing things and taking their children taking children to things like city farms or just out. What we just need is an awful lot more um, ways of exploring climate change that aren't limited to stories of loss and destruction and despair. All science is skeptical. It's fundamentally skeptical. And so I think that it's sort of individual memory and the way in which individual memory is incarnated in our stories, for example, um, it's not going to be a reliable guide to anything. But I think it is going to be an important guide to um, how our, what our feelings are about climate. And what our feelings are about climate is part of the story. They're not peripheral to it. They're not just, you know, the climate changes and then we have our feelings about it. Actually, the feelings we have about climate, the feelings we have about the environment, the values that we have about it, that's, how, that's part of what determines how things turn out. So although they're not, they're not a reliable source of information as such, but they are a fundamental aspect of the way in which the climate story as politics is going to work out.